Hi guys, so here I am at Ardberg, the home to one of my favourite Isla whiskies. And so what I'll be doing today, I'll just be having a bit of a mosey around, see what's going on, try a whiskey or two, buy a whiskey or two. Um, we'll see where the day takes us. But I have to say, thanks to my gorgeous and brilliant wife. So we're here on the family holiday. And because, um, as the people who know that I am a stay-at-home dad, she said to me, well, if you want a bit of time to yourself, I'll take the kids to the beach and do our own thing while you can try the whiskies. Thought, really? Are you sure? Oh yeah, no problem. So, a big, massive thank you to Heather. So, while she's spending some precious time with the kids, I am going to spend some precious time with some single malt whiskey. So, um, I've had a bit of a walk around. I know the place pretty well, but I um, just wanted to show you guys what it's like around here. And as we keep on saying, um, and as you'll see in some of the, the shots, it's just absolutely stunning. The scenery is beautiful. It's made even more gorgeous with the sun being out. It's just, it's just beautiful. And I do urge you people who haven't been to Isla before to check this place out it's just fantastic and you've got even more reason to check it out if you love whiskey so I'm stood outside the uh, cafe shop and I'm gonna go in and um, do a bit of tasting I've got my eye on the Ardberg Perpetuum um, sounds interesting so I'm just gonna have a take a look at the tasting notes and then of course try a dram and tell you guys what it's like um, but yeah, it's, like I said again, it's beautiful. I, I must add, it's hard to do something like this on your own without looking like a total fool. But hey, that's the way it is. So yeah, I'm going to try the Perpetuum. I might buy a bottle, depending on price. Might see something else that I like. And then when I've done what I've done here, I'm going to take a walk to Lagavulin. Um, for those who don't know, Ardberg, Lagavulin and Lefroig, um are about one and a half miles so it's three distilleries in one and a half miles distance and yet the three whiskies taste very very different they've all got its own character and um, personality so um, anyway I'm gonna go in try the Perpetuum try something else and then stagger on to like a villain and there's a little bit of history it was released for the 2015 um, whiskey festival and it's a blend of young and old Ardbegs I think if I'm wrong somebody can correct me um, but it's matured in sherry and bourbon casks so yeah let's try it It's a bit harsh. It's not awful. It's really, it's quite nice actually. But it's not their best. But it is still a decent bottle of whiskey. A bottle, uh, a decent drama, I should say. And I do like it. I've got a few friends who don't like Ardbeg, and this would not be their whiskey at all. Um, I think this is the type of whiskey that will um, split people's opinions. I quite like it, um, I might have another, but yeah, so that's um, Ardberg Perpetuum. I went back 
to the cafe shop and got another complimentary whiskey. But before I tell you what that is, I just need to add, with the previous whiskey, um, the Perpetuum, I decided to add a little bit of water to it and I have to add, I was glad to see that they had pipettes. Um, but yeah, I decided to add a few drops of water to the whiskey and that did bring the flavour out and in fact it made it taste a lot better. So, um, Perpetuum does get a thumbs up from me, definitely. Now, um, I'm on the Ardbeg Kelpie. Yeah, so it's um, matured in virgin oak casks from Russia, that's what I've been told, um, to give it a salty seaweed taste. And also, something that's right up my street, there's um, something to do with the aroma of bacon. So, um, <laughs> the only thing that's missing now is black pudding. Anyway, so I'm going to try a little bit now and tell you what it's like. It's one of those really strong, hard bag whiskies, you know, fairly powerful. Um, but again, the water, I think, does a little bit of a trick for hard bag, for most whiskies. But the, wi the, the water seems to smooth out the aromas and the taste. And this, I mean, I was told earlier that, again, it's another whisky that is definitely... Um, dividing opinions but this is lovely this is absolutely lovely whiskey just with reference to the previous one which was a kelpie um i didn't make the thing up about bacon it says um the spicy aroma of black pepper gives way to tides of bacon and dark chocolate i didn't quite get that but when bacon is put in any sentence automatically love it but just to reiterate it was a good whiskey i really enjoyed it but the one I'm really looking forward to trying is the one I've got here right beside me, which is Ardbeg Dark Coals, which is matured in ex bourbon and dark sherry casks, which is meant to be their darkest whiskey. So here it is. Uh, let's just try it. That's the best one I've tried today. It's beautiful. It's smooth. It's not too harsh. It's, it is still quite powerful. Still got a little bit of that hard big character. But that is one superb whiskey. But yeah, just to review it, I've, you know, the whiskey has been decent. The Dark Cove has been my favourite. So I had Dark Cove, Kelpie and um, Perpetuum. And suddenly enough, I didn't have it in that order, it was Perpetuum first, Kelpie, and then the Dark Cove. And actually in that order they got better, so that was good. I've had a fantastic venison burger. It didn't come with chips and it didn't need to, it was beautiful. So, um, yeah, it's been a nice few hours here at Ardbeg. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to walk down to Lagavulin and then try some whiskies there. All right guys, so if you liked this video about Ardberg and the whiskies and that beautiful venison burger, um, please like and subscribe and tell all your friends, enemies, strangers, family, everyone you know and don't know about it. And I will see you at Lagavulin where I'm hoping to try some wonderful whiskies.